Hey, it's Coach Mason, and in this video, I want to talk about what makes Ja Morant very, very special. Obviously, he's able to finish around the rim, he's able to shoot, he's able to pass, he's one of the best players in the league, but I wanted to look at a couple of things that I think are really, really special about him, and I'll show you the one thing at the end I'll mention um, that I think is that he does better than anybody else in the league, so stay tuned till the end to see that. But what we're going to do in this film session is we're going to go through hashtag five clips of John Morant and I make my videos for players. So players, you're going to see this, learn some things that you can apply to your game and hopefully it'll make you a better player. So this first clip right here is John Morant is able to use his body so well. And this is what all great guards are able to do. They're never sped up. They're never in a rush. And they're able to have situations like this where they can get their defender on their shoulder, on their hip, or on their back. And when you're able to control a defender like this, it's helpful because now the defender can't recover and get back in front of you to contain you on the drive. And then it also creates a mismatch. So in situations like this, although this isn't a great one, if the ball handler's defender is on his back, then the big usually says, okay, if I got to step up, then that's going to leave a lob. But if I stay back, it's going to leave a wide open layup. So guards who are able to put their defender on their back like that are able to create advantages. Now, this next clip is this is a two-foot floater from right inside the elbow. And players, I don't think you know how difficult this shot is. But obviously, Steven Adams sets the high ball screen right here at the top of the key. And what Ja is able to do, he's able to go with a one-two floater over a contesting big who's like seven feet tall. So notice a couple things. The footwork here, he's driving in. He's going to go right foot, left foot, and look at the elevation. This is what makes Ja so special. Defender here, seven. what does this reach right here? Eight feet, nine feet, or ten feet. And Ja is releasing that shot at ten feet barely getting it over the defender's arm, and then the ball is going about equal with the top of the backboard. Players have no clue how difficult this shot actually is. If you practice this shot, you'll learn quick. But I do recommend for players, high school and college, you need to be working on this one, two step, two foot floater 25 times to 50 times with your right hand, 25 to 50 times with your left hand. Now, if you're looking for training, I also have my elite experience. I mention it in a lot of my videos. You kind of get a glimpse right here. But now in this clip right here, we are looking at just getting downhill against the heat. And this is what I think John Morant does better than anybody in the league in that he's able to beat defenders efficiently and in sharp lines. So some players, they play from side to side or from east to west, and that's fine. You know, Allen Iverson does it, Trey Young does it, Kyrie Irving, well, he just goes in every direction. But what John Morant's able to do is he is able to get downhill in straight lines. So I'll show you what I mean right here. In this clip right here, he didn't, I'm going to get to the next slide, he doesn't go, you know, from here and then cut directly across the lane, kind of going towards the opposite sideline. He doesn't drive like that. He sometimes does if he needs to, but what he's able to do is he's able to push the ball downhill, make a defender jump, and then, like I just showed you, the driving line is not going towards the sideline. Look at this blue line. He's able to, after this blue line, basically get straight downhill to the opposite side of the rim for a finish. So he likes to attack downhill in a straight line, do a crossover jab, or just a simple crossover stutter step and then that makes the defender jump. So he's able to play in sharp lines. Now, this next thing he's able to do is finish, and we're going to see uh, two clips of this right here. He is a very good finisher as far as getting in the air against rim protectors, getting that ball up, creating contact with his inside shoulder, and then finishing on his outside hand. This is a very, very good skill and a very advanced skill, but a very good one. Players, if you can develop that, kind of a hook shot finish, hook layup as you're going up, very good finish. And on my training platform, I mentioned this in most of my videos, I've got 49 advanced finishing moves on my training platform in the Elite Experience. It's the paid version of it. You just pay one time. I've got 66 plus advanced shooting drills and I cover every skill in the game. If you're looking to improve, check that out. Now the next clip, he's going into a down screen into a dribble handoff, and again, we see him use his body 
to put the defender in jail or get him on his back. And then we're going back and talking about these finishes, though. He's able to go off two feet. So he's going with that one-two step, and he is so explosive. This is probably the second, the other thing he's the best in the league at. These two, two these two foot one-two finishes where he jumps high, gets that ball up, makes the defender jump, and then he's able to extend the ball around him. He is the best in the league at that. And then we're going to look at one more right here where he actually creates a foul. So again, we just saw three clips where he does this two foot takeoff. So he's driving hard, one, two, takes off, gets the ball up in the air, creates the, uh, contact with the defender, and draws the foul. Now he also has a great understanding and a great feel for if that defender is set, that's going to be a charge. So he likes to do this. He likes to go off that one, two, and either glide by in front of the defender or he catches that defender as they're rotating so that it will be a block or a charge. So this is a great move. You know, guards, if you can create contact in the air, get an and one, or just get to the foul line, it's obviously going to be great for your offense, and it's going to help you score more points. So I hope you enjoyed this film session of John Morant. Subscribe to my channel because I've got a lot of film breakdowns like this. I share workouts. I've got some drills on my training platform where you can create an account. I've got a lot of content that will help you players get better. So hit that subscribe. Thank you for watching, and let's keep getting better.